So I wanna make this video because I feel like so many Christians, they don't understand what the most important work that we should be doing is, which is soul winning, winning people over to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Proverbs eleven thirty, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. He that winneth souls is wise. And you know, soul winning requires a lot of work. I mean, it's called works, <laughs> you know, something salvation doesn't require because that is faith alone in Jesus Christ. But, you know, soul winning, you know, that requires memorizing the scripture, reading the Bible, studying the Bible, listening to preaching. I mean, all those things help me so much. And obviously, you know, at first it's difficult, but when you really get into it, it becomes easier and it's just second nature. Um, I mean, I spent hours and days and weeks and months memorizing scripture and studying just to be able to get good at soul winning. I'm still trying to get better. I'm still learning. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not even close to where I want to be. But I mean, if you would have seen me from the first time I went soul winning compared to now, you'd be like, wow, that's, that's a whole lot better. Like I progressed, but still trying to get better, obviously. It requires a lot of work. And let's be honest, you know, most people are, are lazy. They don't want to sit there and memorize verses for hours on end or days or weeks or months. They don't want to be reading their Bible 30 minutes to an hour in a day. That's too much. I mean, let alone, you know, on top of that, listening to preaching, listening to sermons, you know, that that's a lot of work. And, but, but here's the thing, somebody's got to do it. And God uses us as a vessel to go win people to Christ. So how are people going to get one to Christ? If you're being lazy, if you're not getting in your Bible, studying the scripture, memorizing the scripture, listening to preaching, and then going out there and winning people to Christ, who's going to do it? Are you just expecting somebody else to do it? No, get out there and, you know, put the work in. Come on, guys. And also on top of that, you know, there's a lot of people that say, oh, you know, I don't think my, I have my, uh, my life right right now to where I'm ready to go out soul winning. Well, let me ask you this question. Are you going out and preaching about yourself to people or are you preaching about Jesus Christ? Are you preaching about um, the gospel? Are you preaching about the gospel of Jesus Christ or the gospel of yourself? Because I, <laughs> I can't remember going out preaching about how good or righteous I am because you know what? I, the only reason I'm going to heaven is because Jesus Christ. It's it's not I'm, I'm, not because of myself. You know, there's a lot of people that that do that, but you know, going out and winning souls is actually going to help you get your life right, and it's going to help you get the sin out of your life. You know, I, I'll tell you this right now: since I started soul winning, it has helped me tremendously uh, with many things and help uh, get sin out of my life just by doing that so guys come on we got to get out there and we got to put the work in it and i want to say this um you know in matthew chapter 7 it talks about a uh fruit which i think a lot of people don't understand fruit as in this con context here like for example it says a corrupt tree cannot bringeth forth good fruit and a good tree cannot bring forth corrupt fruits, fruit. So obviously a good tree is going to produce good fruit. People think it's talking about sin. No, it's not talking about sin, right? Because that would be saying that you can't be saved and, and, and be in Christ and sin. What well, Everybody sins every day. But there's obviously delusional people that think they don't sin at all. I mean, that is just ridiculous. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But I'm going to say this. So... Uh, what is a corrupt tree? A false prophet. It's a false prophet. That's what it's talking about. Now, what is a false prophet going to produce? What is the product of a false prophet? Another false prophet. Can a false prophet produce a Christian, which would be good fruit? No, it cannot. But what is the fruit of a Christian? Another Christian. So a Christian, which is good fruit, is going to bring forth good fruit. And that's all it can do. It's not talking about sin. It's not talking about, oh, he he went out and did X, Y, Z or whatever. No, it's talking about the product. You know, are you do you bear fruit? Like, for example, if I went out and I won three people to Christ uh, today, that would mean that, you know, I'm, I'm producing fruit. I'm bearing fruit and it's good fruit because... I just produced more three, three more Christians, right? 
So I hope that makes sense, guys, because a lot of people just can't get a grasp on what that means. And um, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Get out there, do the work. Uh, study the show thyself approved. Uh, go out and go soul winning. Win people the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.